English, Español, Vanos Enigma. Hoy es el 10 de febrero en 2016. I'm not very sure about the title of the video. No estoy muy segura del título del video. Almost always I create the design of the video after this voice recording is finished. Casi siempre hago el diseño en el video después de que el video está terminado. At the moment, anyway, you know that I like very much hashtags. De todas formas, sabéis que me gustan los hashtags. At the moment, I'm thinking of that hashtag written together. Time is money. En este momento estoy pensando en este hashtag escrito juntos. Uh, tiempo es dinero. There are people who have much money, but uh, they don't have time. There hay mucha gente que... Mucha, no. Hay gente que uh, tienen mucho dinero, pero tienen poco tiempo. Luego hay... Now, then, there are people who have more or less the same amount of age. Hay gente que hay más o menos igual el tiempo que dinero. Then there are people who don't have a working contract, so they have uh, relatively much time, but not too much money, for example me. Luego hay gente que no tienen un contrato de trabajo, así que tienen bastante más tiempo, pero tienen, no tienen mucho dinero. Then there are... I often get depressed when I go out and see so many people on the street begging for money. Um, a menudo me siento como deprimida cuando salgo de casa y veo tanta gente por la calle que están pidiendo dinero por la calle. Because in this case they have uh, very much time, but very, very, very little money, normally. En este caso, esta gente uh, casi siempre tiene mucho tiempo, pero muy, 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 muy poco dinero. Almost one year ago, I created this idea of hashtag BTC4, Bitcoin. Casi hace un año he creado esa idea de hashtag BTC4 de Bitcoin. Y luego he creado ese hashtag Bitcoin, sorry, first in English. Then I created this idea of bit, hashtag Bitcoin 2A, which is almost, uh, almost the same idea, just two years instead of four years. Then I created that idea of, um, perdón, en español. Luego he creado esa idea de Bitcoin 2A, que es abreviación por dos años. Es casi la misma idea como um, hashtag BTC4, pero solo dos años al lugar de cuatro. Sorry, I should have said first an idea to help these people on the streets. Debería haber dicho antes una idea para ayudar a esa gente en la calle. And actually not just to help them, but almost if they don't take the money out, you help yourself. Bueno, no solo para ayudar a ellas, porque si no sacan el dinero, te ayudas a ti mismo because it's probable that in two or four years the price of Bitcoin cryptocurrency rises. Porque es probable que en dos o cuatro años 
el precio de Bitcoin o cripto en moneda sube. Sorry for the background noise. Perdona por el ruido de fondo. The idea what I actually really wanted to share is the following. La idea que de verdad quería compartir es la siguiente. It's like one step further than just um, distributing this hashtag B BTC. No, sorry. Hashtag Bitcoin 2A, the new form of hashtag BTC4. Es prácticamente el paso que siguiente en de el hashtag BTC4 o Bitcoin 2A. As I said before, I often feel uh, really depressed when I see all these people begging for money on the street. Como he dicho antes, que yo a menudo me siento muy deprimida cuando veo toda esa gente pidiendo dinero por la calle. But me, myself, I really want to help everybody, but I myself, I don't have much money. I rather have more time than money. Yo de verdad me gustaría ayudar a todo el mundo, pero yo tampoco tengo mucho dinero, así que yo más bien tengo más tiempo que dinero. So, the idea is the following. Así que la idea es la siguiente. There are many people who have phones or tablets, uh, old phones and tablets which they don't use anymore because they want to use uh, the newest versions. Hay mucha gente que tienen muchos móviles y tablets uh, antiguos que ya no usan porque quieren usar las versiones más uh, nuevas, recientes. So what they could do is the following, así que lo que podrían hacer es lo siguiente. Connect these old phones or tablet to the PC and copy uh, their favorite videos and these devices make sure there's enough uh, storage space conectar estos uh, móviles antiguos tablets a el uh, ordenador PC y copiar el, uh, sus videos favoritos a estos móviles, tablets, y mirar a ver si hay suficiente espacio para grabar estos vídeos. If they like, of course they can promote their own videos, products. Si quieren, por supuesto, pueden promocionar, promocionar sus propios productos. But if they really like to help that person, they can give them a private key. Uh, first explain how it functions, of course, and then give them a private key to um, a Bitcoin address or cryptocurrency, whatever. Now I created Flat Earth Coin the idea at least of flat earth coin luego si de verdad quieren ayudar a esa persona pueden uh, dar el dirección privada de bitcoin o otra criptomoneda ahora he creado la idea de uh, flat earth coin que en español uh, tierra plana coin criptomoneda uh, 
de todas formas estáis todos inventados he creado dos páginas en Facebook I created two pages in Facebook um, in English and in Spanish A Flat Earth Coin Cryptocurrency Community dos páginas en Facebook eh, en inglés y en español Tierra Plana Coin Cripto Moneda Comunidad um, I'm thinking maybe I want to create a hashtag to express that idea of um, to give uh, as gift or present to just to help these people because if they if you give oh, okay first translate bueno estoy pensando de just the police passed and they drove so slowly like looking at me like I have that microphone on my mouth <laughs> a little strange anyway uh, okay translate I was thinking about to create a hashtag to express that idea um, because I think it's a really important idea because there are really many people who have sorry I, I should have translated in Spanish now I was a little confused about that police passing by podría traducir en español bueno, estaba pensando de crear un hashtag para expresar esta idea um, porque de verdad hay mucha gente que tiene mucho más tiempo que dinero ahí especialmente me refiero a esta gente ahí pidiendo dinero por la calle que me deprime solo de mirarlos so just thinking maybe what kind of hashtag actually I was starting this video when thinking about that hashtag time written together hashtag time is money bueno, en realidad, en realidad estaba empezando este video pensando en este hashtag Tiemp escrito juntos tiempo es dinero sorry I got ex distracted again there was one man just standing very near I just want to take some sun and he stood in front of me like mm. and then I I gave him some a uh, look a little bit um <laughs> okay I don't want to make a real video about it that but you understand what I mean <laughs> I want to to sit always with my legs crossed I just want to take a sun a little sun on my legs you know, and do you understand that's one reason why I really like that name virtual diva I anyway I by the way I created that account on Twitter just to explore some more hashtags justo uh, tuvo una distracción otra vez porque había un hombre ahí delante de mí porque yo quiero tomar un poco de sol pero se puso ahí delante mirando mirando yo no quiero estar todo el rato asentada con mis piernas cruzadas solo quiero tomar un poco de sol y le, re, le di un, una mirada un poco ¿qué pasa? ¿qué pasa? ¿qué quieres? y uh, ahora se fue tranquilo bueno, vamos a ver si nos consigo, consigamos concentrar un poco en lo que iba a decir and now just I had another distraction there was one actually I want to go just my normal route of shopping and there was was just one boy who works in, in the supermarket and I asked him do you have my YouTube channel I think I have given but I have he forgot bueno justo tuve otra distracción en realidad quería 
para solo pasar mi ruta normal de ir de compras y salió un chico que trabaja ahí en el supermercado y le pregunté mira tienes mi canal de youtube yo creo que lo tiene pero se olvidó ya hace tiempo creo que se lo decía pero da igual le pregunté anyway i asked him so have you watched my video number 113 in spanish le pregunté si ha mirado mi video número 113 en español que sí este es de momento el número el video que recomiendo casi a todos Uh, la gente aquí por la calle en español. So at the moment um, I'm thinking about um, to create a new hashtag because I really like hashtags. Bueno, ya yeah, he dicho antes <laughs> que estoy uh, pensando de crear un nuevo hashtag porque de verdad me gustan los hashtags you know I have um, several t twitter accounts and I often um, put uh, the V like abbreviation for one is enigma in the end of some names or words Uh, sabéis que tengo varias cuentas de Twitter y a menudo pongo el V al final de ciertos nombres o palabras. V es la abreviación por Vanos Enigma. So, at the moment I'm thinking maybe to create that hashtag written together. Time is money V in the end to express that idea. Así que en este momento estoy pensando de crear este nuevo hashtag escrito juntos. Time is money V in the end. Eh, perdón, eh, al final el V para expresar esta idea. Mm, just um, explaining a little more because actually it's not just to help these people on the street it's also to you can promote uh, people spend much money on advertising or something of course it must be it's more interesting for something Uh, somebody poor is interested in of course so you can promote they have time to watch your uh, advertisement public relation so it's not just helping or giving money it's just it's it's like a, a place they have time to watch your advertisement Tienes que mirarlo así, que no es solo que ayudas a esa persona, le regalas un móvil, un tablet antiguo, pero es, ar, eh, po, mira, la gente eh, gasta mucho dinero en publicidad y ellos tienen, ellos, ellas tienen tiempo para mirar en tu publicidad. Si le regalas ese antiguo móvil, tablet, lo que sea, ellos pueden mirar, este, tienen tiempo para mirar este, tus vídeos favoritos, tu publicidad.
esta idea me vino hoy especialmente cuando vi otra vez una chica ahí pidiendo dinero por la calle. Actually, I must say first this idea today I got especially when I saw again um, one girl begging for money in the streets. Me gustaría ayudar, pero yo tampoco me sobra mucho el dinero. I would really like to help everybody, but I, I don't have either too much money. And así que me vino la siguiente idea. So I got the following idea. It's, uh, it's más bien un juego. Uh, it's a rather a game. Uh, lo que es muy importante elegir un monedero de Bitcoin que solo tú mismo misma, tienes la llave privada. What is very important uh, to choose um, Bitcoin wallet a company which you only possess the private key for example uh, blockchain.info por ejemplo la empresa blockchain.info luego imprimir en papel um, la llave privada y también guardarlo tú mismo Then to print in paper the private key and uh, of course save for, for yourself that private key. Bueno, ya estamos imprimiendo, imprime por lo menos 10. So now we are already printing, so at least print 10 directions, 10 direcciones. Luego pones algo de Bitcoin, una cantidad, lo que, lo que te da la gana en esta dirección. Then you put some Bitcoin, uh, the amount, whatever you want, in, that, in these directions. Y la próxima vez que sales de casa ya tienes algo que dar a los que están ahí pidiendo por la calle. And the next time you go out of the house, you have already something to give for these people who are begging on the streets. Y por ejemplo, y claro, para tus amigos, amigas, and for your friends, of course. Eso da motivación a la gente para aprender Bitcoin y... Uh, this gives motivation for the people to learn about Bitcoin. Y la parte del juego consiste en lo siguiente. And the game part uh, consists in the following. Explicas a la gente, mira, esta es la cl clave privada, que es la clave secreta. You explain to the people, look, this is the private key, which must be secret. And uh, you have it and uh, me. And uh, explicas, esa persona y yo mismo la tiene. Y antes pensaba en cinco años, pero luego cambié un poco de idea de hasta cuatro años. First, I thought of five years, but then I changed uh, my opinion to four years. Later, explain. Después, lo expli explico por qué. Les dices, mira, tienes cuatro años para poner esta cantidad de Bitcoin a otra dirección. Si no lo, lo has quitado después de cuatro años, yo lo quito. So you explain them, you have four years to take this Bitcoin out of this direction, of this secret uh, key 
direction. If uh, you don't do it, uh, I do it after these four years. So you lose this. That's the this part of the game. as uh, la parte del juego. He creado este hashtag uh, BTC4 para hacerlo un poco popular. I created this hashtag BTC4 to make it a little popular. Antes pensaba en cinco años, pero luego cambié a cuatro porque te has dado cuenta que en los Simpsons eh, la gente tiene cuatro dedos y solo do, Dios tiene cinco dedos. Um, first, I thought of five years, but then I changed my mind to four years. Um, did you notice that in the Simpsons? People have a four fingers and only God has five fingers. Uh, I'll show some pictures. Voy a enseñar algunas imágenes de los Simpsons. De los manos y dedos de Simpsons. Some pictures of the hands and fingers of Simpsons. Uh, pero antes quiero recordar que Um, es muy probable que en también cuatro o cinco en los próximos años el valor de Bitcoin puede subir mucho. Just want to remember before that uh, the price of Bitcoin, the value of Bitcoin can rise very much in these next years. Así que si solo pones una cantidad pequeña, más tarde puede ser de gran ayuda. Even if you just put a little small amount, later it can be a big help. Uh, no solo para... Bueno, es un juego. <laughs> Si la persona lo quita antes de cuatro años, para, es para esta persona, si no, es para ti, si te recuerdas y guardas bien la llave privada. So, uh, it's, this is the game part, if uh, the, the person takes the money out, it's for that person, but if they forget it, after these four years, you can take it out, and it can be really... <laughs> Bueno, imprimir también la llave pública y la llave privada. Y si, por ejemplo, ok, first translate. Print not just the private key, but on also the public key. Así que si, por ejemplo, explicas a la gente. Mira, si alguna persona quiere enviarte Bitcoin, pero tú no tienes ninguna dirección, así que puedes dar este... Esta llave pública a la persona, mira muy bien, la llave pública, no la llave secreta, das a esa persona o cualquier persona y te pueden enviar un Bitcoin a esa dirección. So, remember, uh, the public key you can give to anybody. And if somebody wants to send you some Bitcoin and, you, and this person doesn't have any, so you have already this public address where they can send you Bitcoin. ¿Qué es Bitcoin? Bitcoin es la primera moneda digital descentralizada. Los Bitcoins son monedas digitales que puedes enviar a través de Internet. Comparado con otras alternativas, Bitcoin tiene numerosas ventajas. Los bitcoins son transferidos directamente de persona a persona a través de la red sin pasar por un banco u otro intermediario. Esto significa que las comisiones son mucho menores, puedes usarlo en cualquier país, tu cuenta no puede ser congelada y no hay prerequisitos o límites arbitrarios.
Miremos cómo funciona. Los bitcoins son generados en todo internet por cualquiera con un programa gratuito llamado Minero de Bitcoin. Crear bitcoins requiere una cierta cantidad de trabajo para cada bloque de monedas. Esta cantidad se ajusta automáticamente por la red, para que los bitcoins siempre sean creados a un ratio predecible y limitado. Tus bitcoins se guardan en tu billetera digital, que te resultará familiar si usas banca digital. Cuando transfieres bitcoins, una firma electrónica es añadida. Pasados unos minutos, la transacción es verificada por el minero y es almacenada permanente y anónimamente por la red. El software de Bitcoin es completamente abierto y cualquiera puede revisar el código. Bitcoin está cambiando las finanzas de la misma manera que la web ha cambiado el periodismo. Cuando cualquiera tiene acceso al mercado global, florecen grandes ideas. Miremos algunos ejemplos de cómo los Bitcoins están usándose hoy en día. Puedes comprar videojuegos, regalos, libros, servidores y calcetines de alpaca. Existen varias casas de cambio donde puedes intercambiar tus bitcoins por dólares, euros y más. Los bitcoins son una gran forma para que pequeños negocios y autónomos reciban publicidad. No cuesta nada empezar a aceptarlos, no hay cargos o comisiones y recibirás negocio adicional de la economía bitcoin. Para tus primeros bitcoins y más información visita weusecoins.com When I first heard this flat earth subject, I dismissed it without even giving it a second thought. But more recently, at the beginning of 2015, I ran across a few flat earth videos again. And while looking into the fake moon photos circulating around, I saw that people were claiming that the images from earth from space were fake as well. Pretty soon the flat earth subject became viral online. And after looking at the Apollo missions one night and coming to the conclusion that they were nothing more than a huge con game, it jarred my memory about something. And for a very specific reason, I decided to look deeply into the flat earth without just dismissing it blindly as so many do. Why did I look into it this time? Well, I do pray for knowledge and wisdom and discernment, but maybe the recent Apollo footage I watched helped. However, I live near a very large lake, Lake Ontario, and I happen to remember going to the beach as a kid and looking across the lake and seeing New York State coast off in the distance. I never ever thought anything about it ever, except I remember it being there when I went to the beach. Now, I've been to that beach a hundred times over the years, And once this topic gained more prominence in early 2015, the first video I saw explained the curvature of the Earth and what it's supposed to be in inches per mile. And it resonated with me because I remember that I could see clear across the lake to the other coast, something that broke all the sphere Earth rules. So with NASA fakery on my mind and the memory of seeing this coastline that supposedly was too far below the horizon for me to be able to see it due to the curvature of the Earth, I re-examined the flat Earth theory. And as unbelievable as it seemed, it started to make a lot of sense, especially since I did distinctly remember being able to see that far coast basically any time I was at my local beach. And as I've said, I've been there hundreds of times over the years. But even so, I went back to the beach recently and stood at the shore. I looked south and guess what? I could see the New York State coastline just like I remember. Now I googled the distance and it was approximately 36 miles. I learned what the curvature of the Earth is supposed to be exactly at that distance. And according to the people that believe in the sphere, I found out that the coast should have been buried below my ability to see it by almost 900 feet. That part of the New York State coast had a top elevation of less than 300 feet. So that left at least a huge 600 foot discrepancy. And even more because I could see some of the height of the far shore. Was something really wrong with the reality that they've been selling us ever since we were born? Well, I ended up becoming a little fixated on proving or disproving the concept. And at first, I truly thought disproving the flat Earth would be rather easy. I thought there had to be a reasonable explanation why I could see so far beyond the so-called curved barrier. I learned about light refraction and superior mirages. I learned about perspective and horizons. I learned about how our eyes work. I viewed dozens of similar experiences on YouTube. I listened to experts and people who thought they had logical but spherical explanations. In fact, I tried for a few months to debunk the concept and just couldn't. The more I looked into it, the more sense it made and the less likely that the sphere model we've been spoon-fed since birth was a reality. It's just flat out wrong. And as more people shared their experiences and proofs online, it only added to my growing, pretty much unwavering belief that the world is not what we've been told. And learning about how our eyes work and how perspective work helps a lot with understanding sunrises and sunsets and ships disappearing hull first at sea and other supposed sphere earth proofs. I can't say for certain what shape the earth is or how big it is, or if there's an Antarctic ring or a barrier beyond it, or if it's an infinite plane. Maybe everything we theorize is not complete. 
There are so many possibilities that it blows the mind. And the flat earth has no real complete standard model because it's all based on us finding out things for ourselves. We agree on the facts and certain basics, but the rest is only hypothetical even if it seemingly makes sense. And as the evidence mounts for both the flat earth and against the sphere, I wanted to create a special place where folks can learn and share what they've learned with other supporters. Differences of opinion are certainly going to come forth and should be expressed openly. But remember that the goal of my videos and their corresponding thread is to provide the opportunity to use each of us to learn and grow in any area that any of us has a problem in. If there is a thing you can't understand, then ask. Someone will have an opinion and we can go from there. If you have a point to make against what is considered an accepted flat earth fact, please provide any relevant links or supporting proofs or videos. I am currently under the impression that the entire space program, even the low Earth orbit and all that is there, is really just a sleight of hand trick by a group of illusionists that have swindled the public, the governments of the world, the media and us into believing a lie. Everybody, a small group of corporations and cabals have almost complete control over the entire financial, educational, high level governmental and media systems, leaving it up to real armchair scientists and normal people that can critically think and recreate experiments themselves to independently prove or just prove any accepted line of thought about our reality. Look, I ain't the smartest man on the flat earth, but I ain't no dummy. I'm educated and I never ever questioned or ever thought of an alternative to a sphere earth until this year. It never entered my mind to question this part of our reality at all, ever. But now I question everything. I'm a Christian and I think I see the big picture. Thanks, Thanks for watching my video. If you'd like to see more proof against the heliocentric model and proof against the sphere, then make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if there's anything you disagree with, Make sure you leave a note below explaining exactly why. Remember folks, follow the golden rule. God loves you. We'll talk soon.